The bids for the Indian Army's procurement of 1,750 units of future infantry fighting vehicles has been closed, as the interested vendors were given till 1 March 2023 deadline to bid in the program. The Defence Acquisition Council has already granted an acceptance of necessity to FICV program, and the prototype trials will begin in 36 months, and the L1 and L2 vendors will receive a 60-40 split order quantity for manufacturing of 1,750 units. The local firms that have sent their bids along with the partnership with a foreign vendor, will have the permission to make design changes or evolve their design to own intellectual property rights. Amid the delay in the Project 75I to build six advanced submarines, the Indian Navy will soon approach the Defence Acquisition Council for the grant of acceptance of necessity for construction of three more Calvary-class diesel-electric submarines at Mazagin Dock Ship Builders in partnership with France's Naval Group. All three submarines will be fitted with the DRDO-developed air-independent propulsion system, while the existing six Calvary-class submarines will get the air-independent propulsion system during their midlife refit. The Indian Army has signed a contract for procurement of integrated mobile camouflage system developed by Hyper Stealth Technologies Private Limited. The integrated mobile camouflage system will increase stealth capability of armored vehicles by self-balancing its own multispectral signatures as per surrounding terrain. It defeats hostile sensors and target acquisition system, and also lowers vehicles' internal temperature, thus extending endurance of crew and electronic equipment. It is a lightweight solution, that has no weight penalty, and no interference in vehicle movement and functions. The Indo-Russian Rifles Private Limited has established all facilities to commence production of AK-203 rifles, and as per latest information, the initial batch of 7.62mm AK-203 rifles have been manufactured, and they are currently at testing stage, and will soon be delivered to the Indian Army. At a time when the Philippine Marine Corps is all set to receive three BrahMos missile batteries, the Philippine Navy is now considering to arm its Jose Rizal class guided missile frigates with the ship launched variant of BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles, that will provide enhanced deterrence against any attempt to undermine its sovereignty. The Jose Rizal class frigates have a displacement of just 2,600 tons, but it can easily carry four BrahMos missiles. The Indian Navy chief has said, that the Navy has taken up the program to locally develop diesel marine engines for warships and other associate ships, that will replace the currently imported diesel engines. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited and private sector firms like Kurlovska and Tata Power are working with Indian Navy, in the development of diesel marine engines in the country, and the first engine will be ready in four years. The Ministry of Defence has signed a contract for normal refit of INS Sindhu Kirti submarine at Hindustan Shipyard Limited, at an overall cost of 934 crore rupees. Sindhu Kirti is the third kilo-class diesel-electric submarine, and after completion of the refit, it will be combat-worthy and will join active submarine fleet of the Indian Navy.